All right, for the community now, Charlie Abrigo is here with the Gladys Porter Zoo with our Zoo Cats of the Week, which is a gray banded king snake. Not really a king, but I know he has a unique feature that makes him a king. I know, I think the people get that uh, that king because we have a king cobra at the zoo. And right. It's much Yeah, much it's, it's huge. They can get about 14 feet, but the king snakes, you know, um, something that they have that's similar to the cobras is that they can eat other snakes. And that's uh, uh, an interesting fact. And of course, you know, it's very little right now. So it's kind of hard to believe that, but no, and when um, they can get a little bit bigger, we have two great abandoned king snakes in the education department at the zoo. And the other one is a little bit larger and um, they're opportun opportunistic feeders. They can pretty much, um, anything that's available to them, um, they live in different parts of Texas, Western Texas, uh, Northern Mexico, um, Southern New Mexico. So um, usually the, they live in a more like dry, uh, deserty area. So whatever they can find, they'll eat. So would we catch one here out in the valley or it would have to be, we have to go to Mexico? It would be a little bit more West Texas, uh, but you can never rule out something. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I've had people find, you know, pythons or something in this area, even though they're not native, but sometimes they, you know. Yeah, I think we're out. used to seeing rattlesnakes, but I yeah. don't think we're used to seeing this. And is there anything with the color that makes it so unique? So um, one of the things usually um, snakes that are brightly colored, they're usually venomous snakes. So. Other snakes will kind of mimic that pattern. So usually, because when you see a bright color, mm -hmm. it does signify danger. So right. this this color pattern that this bright orange that they have helps them protect them against you know other predators that might think that they're a venomous snake. And most people know, but for the students out there, whenever they're sticking out their tongues, like I guess whenever earlier he was, yeah, there you go. he's like <laughs> sniffing me, right? Yeah. And, <laughs> and they have a forked tongue, and every time their tongue goes into their mouth, there's a little hole in the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ, and that's kind of like a uh, they, it's where they get all their information from the environment. They pick up scent particles. They can sense danger or prey. Um, right. And so it's very important for them. Very cool. And you guys have a big event that's going on this weekend. We do. I'm really excited. It's a uh, brew at the zoo. So if you like beer, that's, you know, it's your chance. If you, like, <laughs> if you like animals, you can check it out. Um, it's $20 pre-sale for members, $25 at the gate. Um, if you're not a member, it's a little bit more. It's $25 and $30 um, at the gate. But you can get your tickets now because we have a limited number. Um, so go online, gpz.org. You can find out more information about it and to attend the event this Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. Very cool. So if you like food and beer, that's your place to be. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Charlie. And stay with us. We'll be right back.